hello and welcome guys today we are going to work in 3d autocad 3d we are going to draw a showcase with glass and other things so let's do it right now i'm in my 3d template so if you know how to create a 3d template good if not then you can find my other videos there are one and you are always welcome to let me know through comments and i will do if i miss anything or if i need to make something new so let's do it Control shift s for save as i'm naming it uh s h o w case showcase save right now it's saying saying here showcase i'm just gonna press Control s so the name gonna be only showcase now let's go to the top view we are in the top view but still i'm gonna just click on the top view let's draw a rectangle rec enter click d enter 36 enter 18 enter click click so here is our rectangle we are going to make this two corner cha enter d enter make it like um, nine inches so nine enter nine let's see how look not bad enter again click here click there if we do nine inches it's slow it's not look that good so I'm gonna go back control Z and uh, let's make it instead of 18 make it 20 I'm just stretching it two inches and now CH a enter D enter let's make it six enter enter let's see six inches how much uh, so it's gonna be a fixed class let me see dli enter mm, align i need this one so click here click there it's eight point five inches if half inches go above or not half it's gonna go more than half inches So the glass gonna be less than eight inches so actually six inches is not enough so i'm gonna do again cha enter d enter let's make it eight enter enter click here click there and enter click here click there so eight inches gonna give us a little more uh, better look now i'm going to so this is the plan i'm drawing okay I'm going to show the pipe the aluminium pipe those most of those pipe are one and a half inches so REC enter click D enter so let's make it 1.5 enter 1.5 click something wrong I'm deleting it REC enter click D enter 1.5 enter 1.5 enter click so selecting this one taken to this corner selecting it make it mirror f8 and again mirror this one mirror it to the other corner and then i'm gonna select one of these bring it here Just mirroring guys you know how to mirror i believe you know so now we are going to use the six like column type of pipes and uh, that's all now mm, okay so this one offset it for 1.5 inches and click here click inside so now it's going to look like this mm -hmm. let's move this one out like 10 feet and let's copy it like five feet here 
then extrude this x t extrude this 1.5 because it's a square pipe I'm gonna go to isometric view subtract as you enter select object to keep enter select object to go enter so our technician will make this like this shape with the pipe go back to the top view select all of these extrude these to six feet go to isometric view so here is the frame bring this one like five feet so it's sitting here we are going to mm -hmm. so we are going to go to the front view click this one mirror it to the top go to isometric view how it's gonna look like not bad go to the front copy this one I actually copy this one now I'm going to move this one like three inches three oops what happened so let this one move enter three so now we have our box have a little bit lag otherwise it's not gonna look good <laughs> bring it in the front view hold this one copy copy it to 24 25.5 25.5 so it's gonna be 24 inside to inside dli enter dimension linear for dli yeah to fit that's it and how much the top dli enter yeah not too bad three feet something it sounds good go to asymmetric view this look good now i need to make this okay now i need glass and a uh, few other things so i'm gonna go to the top view so, mm -hmm. copy this one bring it five feet now we're going to make this one like a fix holder how are we gonna do that so you're gonna draw a line line trim it out and then we just gonna pick, keep it here let's go to side view so we are going to right side I'm doing an fix so fix are actually a very complicated thing or very easy let me show you so let's draw a polyline pl enter click here I'm zooming in uh, too much so going up 0 0.06125 0 enter go this way point three quarter inch not enough 375 okay then you're gonna come this way point five and come this way point zero six one two five enter go this way 
how much so we came half an inch this way if we do not keep enough space here the technician not able to fix it so right now let's make it like 0.125 i'm gonna stretch it stretch it later come this way until here so wait for forget the dimension so i'm clicking here going this way 0 0.06125 enter come this way still i don't know how much the size click here then gonna go up go to this corner come here and then see enter so this is a fixed let's see how much space left here in the center is 0.3 inches which is quarter inch glass gonna be fit there easily i think quarter inch glass is not enough glass or even wood and if we want to make it half an inches gonna be wood because it's it's we need something heavy there maybe fiberglass gonna work so quarter inch is not enough 0.3 inch Mm. okay let's see i'm gonna see more now. let's go to the dimension style not dimension style let's suppose the precision go to zero feet zero this so it's two five three actually quarter inches only so i'm gonna make it a little bigger stretching it out make it 0.125 so it's gonna be mm -hmm. so be 3 8 and i'm going to stretch this one 0.25 let's see how much the whole distance come up it's become 0.9 inches i don't mind even one inch gonna work relating it here is my fix make it the color like different so i can find it easily go to isometric view here it is take it to from here so if i put it there it's gonna look facing other side so let me go to the set view again and let's flip it am i am i for mirror yes and then go as some view see how it's fit it's not fitting on the perfect spot but let me pull this one now and put it there so let's do it ext enter select this one enter p for path here's the path so now we have our glass holder this thing going to hold our glass you see mm, look good go to the top view make it wireframe are you okay not are i need to draw make a glass actually it's gonna be fiber glass heavy heavier than glass pl enter so let's draw from here there 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 look like here now we're going to offset it because you see this this is the place we are going to put let's say a fastener so it's gonna be from here to there and this rest of this this space going to be adjustment for our glass so now I draw the frame here and I'm gonna offset it 0.25 now it's sitting there i'm selecting this deleting it and uh, selecting this glass okay let's go to asymmetric view so i can show you where is the glass 
actually it's become a little difficult to hold let's make it let's extrude it first ext enter point three seven five enter so this view select this one make it color like a little woody woody go to the front view here is the one move how much 370 are gonna be very tight but what what you gonna do but I don't know how much it sh should be calm down so let's say move enter 0 0.06125 that's the thickness of this and then I'm gonna move it 0.375 huh. have a little bit gap pulling it down a little bit and it's fit properly go to the asymmetric view make it 3d solid then go to click on this one flip it out see the bottom part look like it's fit good so the technician gonna put a repeat here or small screws here to attach with this frame now we're gonna go to the top view and take this both push it to this one this way five feet go to asymmetric view and see where it's sitting it's sitting in the ground 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 I'm gonna go to the front view hold this one move it to three inches and uh, i think it's not enough move enter preview enter enter Ooh. 1.5 so it's gonna be plain with the top now if you want to see this is the frame this is the one who holding this fiberglass let's make it color like not crazy color trying to make it a good looking color <laughs> okay not too bad so this piece is a frame this piece going to attach with the frame for glass holder and then before we you know install the uh, before the technician install it what they're gonna do they put the bring this piece of glass or flexi glass then put this all the frames around it and then they push it through this way or from the top it's gonna be a little tight they're gonna tap uh, sl slowly tap with the hammer and it's gonna be fit there perfectly later they gonna come up with their gun and shoot some you know repeat here see you see it's sitting properly you can see so when they put repeat here and repeat there it's gonna be look awesome I'm pressing escape going to asymmetric view then I'm going to go to the front view make it wireframe let's select this fix select this class and copy it 25.5 25.5 how 25.5 so 24 is center to center and the 1.5 inch for the this frame so it's sitting there now we are going to take the same one but for the top it's going to sit differently let me show you how so go to the front view and select this two thing then make it mirror but you're not gonna get the center part of this so now you need to draw a line or something click here click there make it red color or different color so here's the fiber glass here is the glass holder mirror it because we want to see this side plane below side not the upper side now if you go to the isometric view it's gonna look a little ugly from this side from the top because we don't care if it is look ugly from the top yeah it's not need to be look good 
on there so look they are plain if you go here here is plain and if you go the other side i'm gonna flip this one a little bit see it's plain here this is how it look good so let's let's see go to the asymmetric view again and here it is now what we're gonna do we going to add let's see other side let's see other side so this is the back side now we are going to add a fixer here and put a piece of wood so it's gonna look no look better so first thing we need to uh, get our this fixer glass holder copy this one because i should keep a piece but i i forget to keep now we're gonna make a small rectangle extrude it like foul then go to asymmetric view yes you enter and then explode it x for explode explode again and here the fix <laughs> so select it ext enter okay slip it's working Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So I'm just selecting this one from here. Move it away. So those extra lines gonna get deleted. Now let's go to the back view. This one back. Oh, this one front actually. This is the back. Okay. yeah this is the big view i think I, we need to get works with some imagination so let's say this is the frame you see i'm not gonna understand i think but you know well you have so let's making let's make let's make a rectangle rc enter click here click there and make it color like yellow so you can see it go to asymmetric view and actually go to the, this one. Oh no this one so if you go to make it solid it's gonna look like this where it's very hard to catch so moving it out like 1.5 which is the frame size now if we make it solid it's gonna show us the frame yeah the same frame we need on for the top so i'm gonna go to the back view again rectangle from this corner the corner not selecting uh, so let's make it wireframe RC enter click here click there go to asymmetric view no go to nw asymmetric i think oh yeah nw asymmetric actually sw asymmetric is better n <laughs> sometimes i get confused okay so bring this one also out this way 1.5 and then make it the same color match properties touch this one click on this so these two we need to make them these two yellow pieces let's move it this way like five feet go to back view then where is our fixed small one this is the one and uh, yeah we can 
place it there. Place it there and make the frame. This is the correct way, guys. This is not the correct way. So let's go to the side view. We can't find it. So let's select these two, go this with like five feet. I'm keeping the five feet sequence. So if we need it, we can get it fast. So it should be like this. Now I'm gonna go to SW semantic. Select this one. Okay. Let's go to the top view again. Just make a frame to make an opening. Actually, it's not sitting on the thing, that's why not trimming. So, delete this one, offset like one inch on the side, trimming it out. Guys, it's not trimming. Oh my god, why not trimming it out? So I'm just exploding it because it's not let me trim. Now I'm gonna go to the front view. Yeah, any view gonna work. And uh, trimming it out. Trim, trim. Select this one. Go to. Okay, poly edit. This one join one piece and PE enter. Select this one, enter, join, enter. All of these enter, enter. And then we're gonna just stretch it to here. Gonna go to the isometric view, select this one from this corner bring it here this one for down right yes so for the up we need to make it middle so go to the side view mirror it this way go to the asymmetric view again and uh, there you go so now i'm just pulling it to that point click, click here pulling it to this point ext enter select object enter p for path and click this line become one frame solid take a quick look make a match properties quickly so it's going to match this one okay now ext enter select object enter p for path select this one become the same match properties select the click on this one click on that one and now these two frame become 
now we're gonna go to the front view okay make it where to the wireframe so rectangle click here click there offset this one 0.25 enter 25 is not enough yeah it's enough selecting this one out x no no rectangle from inside to inside oh boy yeah then offset same size click here click there select the all new i mean old one delete but old ah, you can say old so this two piece gonna be wood ext enter 0.375 the same thickness we we'll go to the side view and see where it's sitting sitting here and the other one is sitting there let's move it point zero six one two five enter that's the thickness of the clip more preview point three seven five enter and then i have a little gap so move enter preview enter enter click here bring it there so both sides have a little bit gap this one gonna look good okay so this is the point exterior and the other side is plain that's the goal let me see if inside is plain yes so now i'm gonna go to the top view bring this one this way five feet move enter preview enter enter this way five feet go to asymmetric view and here is your frame is sitting down okay so we are going to use fiberglass on this one two three but the back we're gonna use wood you want to make it color <laughs> let's make it color so i'm going to the click on the material Use this one render this is material browser so let's say wood is selected i we'll choose a wood okay looking for a beautiful wood I think this one nice red work I'm selecting this one first then this one then right click on this one assign to selection now it's sitting there but yeah red work let's let me, let me go to back and see how it's look you this like this or this not too bad okay there is a problem i'm closing this one i'm going to rotate it okay this one not sit properly here you go so i'm gonna pull it in i have to pull it in so pull it in to make it plain with inside but it was look plain before right i do not i'm not sure but if we make it this side like you know this corner gonna go to match with the corner of the pipe would be more space inside so i'm gonna go to the wireframe go to this view so 
I'm going to select from the top this piece and the piece of wood. Here is the this piece from this corner selecting is easy. Okay, and I'm going to push it inside. So how I'm going to push? I think this corner would be fine. So move enter, selecting this and pushing here. Let me see. Yes, so it's playing with outside and um, in inside we can see it's we can bring it here, but it's gonna give us like almost one inch space. So let's keep it this this way. So it's gonna look better. Now this work would okay, not bad, not bad. So got the asymmetric view. Let's choose a color for the aluminium, right? Silver color is not too bad. It's look good also. Let's keep it. Now we need the first we need the door. So let's go to the front view. Okay. We'll make it wireframe. RC enter. Very difficult to see, right? <laughs> okay. One thing. This frame should be above this pipe. So I'm gonna go and it's gonna create problem for me. Yes, yes. But I don't mind, I'll fix it. Or we need to pull this pipe down. Let's pull this pipe down. <laughs> Click this one, bring it 1.5, select this one. 1.5 select this one bring it 1.5 1 1.5 oh, it's not gonna go okay if we go to the front view now and uh, we have this frame from here to there and this is gonna be this one is continue so what we gonna do make it a wireframe then make a rectangle okay guys the video is being too long so i'm gonna close this one right here okay i'll make another video I'm gonna be part two so showcase part one and showcase part two see you on the next video guys take care